yeah welcome back so last lecture we completed what is leftmost derivation what is rightmost derivation let's see what it meant by derivation tree other name for the derivation tree is the pass tree let me tell you why it is termed as the pass tree generally this tree is used to pass the input string in the compiler no, no compiler have the lexical analyzer syntax analyzer other name for the syntax analyzer is parser so generally parser is going to pass the input string by using this pass tree okay that's why it is termed as the pass tree you can name it as derivation tree also okay then what is pass tree generally it is a tree it is a tree you know in computer science field a tree can be represented as this is the root node and this are all the this are all the shell nodes okay then if this node has the two more shell nodes this is shell node and one more shell node and this is one more shell node okay in tree it is the root of the tree and this are all and this are all the interior nodes this are all the interior nodes and these are all the these are all the leaf nodes these are all leaf node okay so root node is the starting node in tree interior nodes are the nodes which have the child nodes okay then the nodes which doesn't have any child nodes those nodes are called as the leaf nodes okay so this is about brief introduction about the tree but whereas coming to the context free grammar you know it is defined by using the four tuples g equals to v comma t comma p comma yes you know where v is variable t is terminal p is production and s is the start symbol okay then we have to map these four tuples into the tree okay so generally start symbol can be written as the root node start symbol can be written as the root node then next terminals okay all leaf nodes are called as the terminals all leaf nodes called as the terminals <coughs> then productions and then what is interior nodes interior nodes are always variables interior nodes are always variables okay then how you can write one production in the derivation tree is let's say for example i have one production x tends to x1 x2 x3 and so on xk how you can represent this production in the pass tree or derivation tree is take x as the node and what is its first child is x1 add as the left child and next next one is x2 add as the next child then what the next one is x3 add as the next child and so on and so on what the last child is the xk xk okay this is how you can map grammar into the derivation tree okay let me take one example so that i can show you practically how you can construct a derivation tree yes the given grammar is s tends to triple a slash double a then a tends to triple a slash a capital a then a small b then small a small b identify what are the non terminals in the grammar is s and a what is terminals in the grammar is small a small b okay now i want to construct pass t for the string b double a b a for its derivation generally what is pass t or derivation t is the is a tree shows the pictorial representation of your derivation process either it may be a leftmost derivation or rightmost derivation okay so as i told you a root node is always is the starting symbol so take s as the starting root node so s then next s can be replaced with this production triple a a a a so what my intention is i have to derive the string from this pass t i have to derive strings from pass t is b double a b a now a can be now a can be replaced with triple a or a a or a b or a or b okay so all yes are can replace with a or b so better you better you generate five yes by replacing its productions okay so in order to meet that requirement now you can replace a with triple a so a with triple a and one child and one child a yeah you can add arrow marks also then then next so what is first first terminal i am expecting is b so now replace a with b replace a with b then next what the next i am expecting is a now replace a with small a then what i what i am expecting is a now replace a with 
small a then what we are expecting is a with to b a with to b so b is derived then a with to small a so a is derived okay now how you can find out the terminal string from the past is for, so st start from the root node concatenate concatenate all its child nodes concatenate all its child nodes so what is first child node is b then next a then next a then next is b and next is a so concatenation of all these child nodes what is concatenation of all these child nodes from left to right is b a a b a so this is what called as the derivation tree okay let's take one more example yeah given grammar is s tends to a a s slash a slash double s then a tends to s b capital a slash b a now i'm asking you to write a past t or derivation t for the string double a b double a then given grammar is the variables is capital s and capital a the terminal c small a and small b okay so let's construct the past t so you know starting node is what yes take it as the root node so s is the root node so i want to derive double a so yes can be replaced you, if you take a a s yes, maybe it could not be it could not be generate exact thing what we are expecting okay so s can be replaced with double s s can be replaced with double s double s okay then next i am expecting a is should appear first so now identify which one is start with a a s yes, or a okay so if i write in a only it is could not complete it could not derive the exact thing so s yes, can be replaced with a a yes now it's it can be written uh, otherwise you can take one more option also you can you can replace uh, let's try with this s can be replaced with uh, small a then next s yes, can be replaced with s uh, yes, can be replaced with small a capital a then capital s yes. okay then a is derived small a is derived then a can be replaced with a can be replaced directly with b a a can replace directly with b a so now it is b a then next e s can be replaced with small a so s can be replaced with small a now you can concatenate from left to right all child nodes which is the is the most important which is the yield of the past t which is what yield of the past t i mean which is output of the past t so uh, you can concatenate like this so start from the root node start from the root node so ch i mean terminal is a then next a then next b then next a the next one is a the so concatenation from left to right concatenation from left to right is a then a b a a so which is exactly equal to derived string okay then take one more example the given grammar is s tends to small a capital a capital b then a tends to small b capital b small b then b tends to capital a slash epsilon okay the given grammar have the variables s capital a capital b then terminals is small a small b okay see what is the import what is the Uh, somewhat uh, new in this problem is uh, i'm taken epsilon where you where you can represent epsilon in the past t so now i want to show where you can where we can represent epsilon in the past t is as is well i want to construct past t for the string a double b okay double b according to the procedure so start node can be taken as the root node root node then s can be replaced with a capital a then capital b this are all the three child nodes okay then so with this a is derived a is derived then next what we are expecting is b so if you want to derive b means so a should be replaced with b capital b small b so now how we can write it as b capital b small b okay then next so a b b is derived then next i am expecting only b okay then b can replace either with a or epsilon if you replace with a this past t never generate any terminal string okay what is terminal uh, what is the string is string contains all the terminal string never includes any non variables okay so now b can be replaced with epsilon so now b can replace with epsilon 
then this b is also replaced with the epsilon epsilon now you observe epsilon is always represented as the represented as the leaf node represented as the leaf node okay that's one of the important one, one of the important uh, thing in this problem okay now you take the concatenation of the concatenation of the positive from starting from left to right now it is so start from this so what is the first terminal is a then next terminal is b then next one is epsilon the next one is b the next one is epsilon so write it as now how we can write it as a b epsilon b epsilon okay you know according to the according to the identity rules of regular expressions or anything so epsilon is concatenated with any string the result is string is only so a b b so which is equal as to this one okay one more important thing is i want to tell you so if i write the grammar like this a a tends to b b okay right this is basically it is not a context free grammar it is not a context free grammar why it is not a context free grammar is to the production symbol production symbol lhs it is and this is the rhs so rhs can contain two non terminals no problem it is the property of the context free grammar okay whereas coming to the lhs part what is the restriction in the context free grammar it should exactly contain a single non terminal but it is has the terminal also okay so this grammar is the this grammar is the context sensitive grammar okay my question is can we construct a positive for the context sensitive grammar so it is not possible because we have to replace aa with bb so how you can write aa as the root node so not a positive not possible okay okay this is all about the derivation tree or past tree